Hi, my name is Dr. Felicia. I'm a licensed psychologist, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to find a good OCD therapist. Okay, so the first thing that you want to look for in um, a therapist that's going to be treating you for OCD is that they do a good thorough diagnostic evaluation. And that's important because OCD is um, a frequently misunderstood mental health disorder. And so it's really important that whoever is treating you does a thorough evaluation to make sure that you indeed do meet symptom criteria for OCD. And that goes for any other sort of disorder, but with OCD in particular, it's, it's very important that they do a thorough evaluation so that you come away with a good understanding of how your symptoms meet criteria for OCD. And that goes into my second point is that a good OCD therapist will also put together a good treatment plan for you. So part of that treatment plan is going to help you understand what symptoms you have, um, you know, whether there, there are, um, you know, different rituals throughout the day, different compulsions, whatever the obsessions are, whatever the symptoms are that you're dealing with, a good therapist is going to put together a clear treatment plan to show you how to address not only the symptoms that you're having, but how they're impacting your functioning. So a good thorough evaluation and in that evaluation, helping you understand how your symptoms meet criteria. The second point is a good, clear treatment plan. And as part of that treatment plan, which goes into my next point, you want to have at least weekly meetings with your OCD therapist at the beginning of treatment. And that's really important because um, OCD um, has the reputation of being difficult to treat. And I wouldn't say that it's necessarily difficult to treat, but the approach to treatment has to be standardized and it has to be, it has to follow a method. And so part of that method, which I'm going to get to in a minute, um, involves regular work inside and outside the therapy session. Okay, so you want to make sure that you and your therapist are meeting at least weekly. Sometimes in some treatment programs, you may meet twice a week for some time until treatment moves further along. Um, the fourth thing is that you want to make sure that your therapist is practicing and using ERP on you. ERP stands for Exposure Response Prevention Therapy. And what ERP does in a nutshell is it basically breaks the cycle that involves obsessions and compulsions. And so with ERP, you are exposed to what triggers the obsessions, but then instead of you going ahead with the compulsions, you insert response prevention. And that gives you an alternative way of dealing with the, um, the triggers for the anxiety. And in that, it reduces the compulsions. And ERP teaches you that even though you feel anxious, you feel like you must do a compulsion. It is actually not necessary for the anxiety to subside. And actually when you do those compulsions, it interferes with the process of anxiety going away. I wouldn't say going away, but reducing or either you become accustomed to it. So um, that's basically what ERP does. And you want to make sure that the therapist that you are seeing practices ERP and is using ERP to treat the OCD symptoms, okay? So um, ERP is the gold standard for um, treating OCD. And there may be a few other things sprinkled in, but you want to make sure that the primary approach is ERP. Um, and then that goes on to my next point is that you want to make sure that with your therapist, you are doing ERP both inside the sessions and outside the session. So with ERP, when you are doing it in session with your therapist, you learn how to do ERP properly, right? Um, your therapist is only going to be meeting with you um, for a brief time during the week compared to the time you're outside of session. So you want to make sure that you understand how to use those techniques when you um, are experiencing any kind of triggering situation. So you want to make sure that ERP is happening both in session and out of session. And, um, and when the ERP is happening, uh, happening out of session, you and your therapist are going to work together to come up with a treatment plan and different sorts of activities and exercises that you're going to use in between the time you're in therapy and out of therapy. And then the last point, which is very important, is that you want your therapist to be providing validation to you instead of reassurance. And that can be a really tough one, especially for um, you know, therapists like us who are in the, th in the helping professions because you know, we see somebody in distress and we want to help them. So sometimes you know, um, reassurance becomes an issue. Um, but what I found and what the research finds is that when you provide reassurance excessively to somebody who is experiencing anxiety, they may feel better temporarily, but the anxiety does not get better. 
what you're basically doing is trying to, um, when someone provides reassurance, it's accommodating them. So it's teaching them that they need outside reassurance from other people instead of the inter internal strength to overcome um, the, the difficulties with compulsions and whatnot. And with reassurance, it's pretty much giving the client a false sense of certainty. Right. So when I've worked with clients before um, who have come from other treatment modalities to treat OCD, they'll say, you know, my therapist was great. Um, I liked talking to them, but, you know, and they did provide me with a lot of reassurance. And I found that during the times I was getting reassurance, I felt better. But then afterward, the anxiety came right back. And that's because reassurance is kind of our um, anyone's attempt to provide certainty, which you really cannot get. And that's part of what you get through ERP treatment. You learn that, look, even though I'm not 100% certain about a situation or this trigger um, not causing me anxiety, I'm going to learn to get through it. So basically ERP teaches you to be comfortable with being uncomfortable, to move forward and make progress in the midst of uncertainty. Um, we know we do lots of things without 100% proof of certainty, but with OCD, OCD um, you know, will um, kind of zero in on a particular symptom or a particular issue and say, well, if you're not 100% certain about this, you can't move on. You know, So people with maybe contamination concerns, if you're not 100% sure you clean every germ off your finger, you can't eat. You know, So OCD demands certainty for certain things, but in reality, we are not guaranteed certainty about anything. So, um, so that's really important to realize. And what a good therapist who's treating you for OCD will do instead is provide validation. What I mean by validation is to show you that the symptoms you are going through are a normal part of the course of course for OCD. Part of validation also provides compassion, letting you know, hey, you're not alone. I'm going to be here with you throughout this. And, help, and validation also um, helps set up normal expectations for what treatment for OCD is like and also the symptom course. You know, sometimes people come in and they say, gosh, you know, I thought I was the only person dealing with these sorts of symptoms. You know, OCD can be very isolating and it can have people feel very guilty and ashamed for a lot. But when the therapist provides validation, it teaches them that, look, you're not alone in your symptoms. Um, these things will, um, if we address them through treatment, we will find a way to cope with them. And so that's what validation does. It helps this client understand that you as a client help you understand that, hey, I'm not alone. This is normal for OCD um, symptoms and here's the way to get through it. So again, a good OCD therapist, I'm gonna go through the six points I made. The first one, you want a good thorough diagnostic evaluation which your, your symptoms are explained and help you understand how you meet um, criteria for OCD. Second is you want a good treatment plan. You want to understand how your therapist is going to address your OCD symptoms. Number three, you want regular meetings, at least weekly in the beginning. Number four, an ERP approach. ERP is the gold standard for treating OCD. And then five, you want to do ERP both inside and outside of the sessions. Inside the session shows you how to get how to do the exercise and outside of the sessions or when you really build that practice and when the treatment, um, the treatment kicks in and how you learn to deal with compulsions um, in different ways instead of, or deal with anxiety using response prevention instead of compulsions. And then the last is validation instead of reassurance. And so your therapist is going to help you understand your, your symptoms are part of the course, but they're not going to reassure you that everything is okay and this bad thing that you're afraid of is not going to happen. That's only going to make OCD worse. So we're here to validate, not provide reassurance of, um, of safety or anything like that. Okay, so I hope that helps. If you found this content helpful, please um, hit the like button to subscribe to the channel. And also let me know in the comment section what other sorts of um, videos or topics you would like to see covered. May you have a peaceful and wonderful day. Bye-bye.